parts of it. Over the past two years, I've been working on an, a national service learning initiative called the Muslim Youth Canada Project, uh, directed by the Canadian Council of Muslim Women, uh, with financial support from Citizenship and Immigration Canada. And today, we're going to uh, Niagara region. We're actually going to Brock University at, uh, in St. Catharines to talk to local youth about challenges they face being uh, Muslim in Canada and issues of identity and um, I'm looking forward to it. My name is Rizwan Mohammed. I am right now 30 years old. I grew up in a small town just on the eastern edge of uh, Toronto in, in Pickering, Ajax. And um, my parents, they were originally born in India and they kind of grew up uh, in Pakistan, and parts of my family are from like all over the place, Afghanistan, Kashmir, Turkey, uh, Iran, so I, I kind of feel like I'm from all over Asia. So this project is being delivered in 12 Canadian cities. Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa, Sackville, St. Catharines, Niagara Falls, uh, London, Waterloo, Winnipeg, Regina, Calgary, Edmonton, Vancouver. I don't know if I hit 12 yet, but that, those are the major centers. The goal of the Muslim Youth Canada Project is to empower youth to strengthen their plural identities so that they increase their sense of belonging to their local communities and that they're also empowered to deal with the challenges that they face growing up in Canada as young Muslims. I think radicalization is one of the responses that the project aims to address, uh, but also racism, uh, also class and gender uh, challenges. Over the last 20 months, I have been on the road visiting 15 cities uh, in seven provinces, working directly with 64 young Muslim uh, leaders, interacted with about a thousand youth across the country. And today we're at Brock University and I am on my way into the Islamic Center. So my name's Rizwan, rhymes with Obi-Wan Kenobi. So do we want to go around, everybody take like a minute, write down something that you would want to like address or change in your own life, something that you would want to address or change or you think is an issue in, in the wider society in which you live. And then we can kind of go around and each person sort of explain what they're, what they're talking about. My personal uh, problem is more so just about identity and um, I really, like, often feel like, like I'm not a part of this community, ignorance. so like kind of like an outsider because whenever we're just first one, like Walmart or something. Now this like one could be like ignorance uh, in the in the wider Canadian community or actually within uh, Islam. All Muslims together and they have, have certain expectations from a group of people. So we've just written down um, certain uh, set of challenges on our index cards, right? Um, now I'm going to pass them to Ryan, who's going to shuffle them, and then we're going to pass them out. And each person uh, is going to take a couple of minutes, brainstorm some solutions, some strategies to address the challenges that they get on their card. So I, I took Shala's uh, card, and she was writing about feeling that she's not part of the community. Even yeah, she's she's like, 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 do you want to? Do you need to switch, or do you feel no, like you can? I, are you going to work on that? Yeah. Okay, awesome. That one, what you got? I think it owners. Uh, it's an initiative and climate of fear. Okay. I have use of uh, unity and ignorance. Okay. I have those Canadian culture and gender relations. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Issues that they identified related to their identity and finding out who they are are things that we keep encountering in cities all across the country. For example, um, issues that were practical related to time management issues, issues related to uh, struggling with tradition and conforming to a tradition that comes before. It was interesting, even a non-Muslim uh, young person actually identified that as a challenge that he was facing. Integration is a word that a lot of the young people that I'm working with don't even really think about. Multiculturalism as well, like multicultural uh, is something that they sort of take for granted. These are words that have, um, they're concepts that have become so embedded as part of their worldview that they, they sort of don't even think about those things. They almost think about more 
uh, practically about uh, living as Canadian Muslims of multiple uh, identities, of plural identities, uh, where they also embrace their ethnic heritage, their linguistic heritage, heritage and these kinds of things. Um, they're people that are trying to figure out ways to find that kind of common ground uh, by which they can live together uh, and, and flourish. I mean, the first thing that I think of when I hear terrorism is um, that, you know, we often focus on terrorists as individuals, as these vigilantes, uh, and we don't pay enough attention to state-sponsored terrorism. And I think that's a even more um, serious challenge in, in, in a lot of ways. And I think that terrorism, unfortunately, the way that we talk about it, of course we have to fight it, of course, of course we have to oppose it. But I mean, not to the extent that it distracts us, that it focuses or diverts our attention away from even more serious challenges, which include poverty, which include housing, which include food insecurity, um, climate refugees. I mean, we could keep going and going. I mean, those are things that are imminent threats uh, to social cohesion, uh, much more so than terrorism. Um, and yet, we have, to, we have to fight that too. So we need to take a balanced approach is what I think.